This is a video on uploading a file using Drupal 8. If you're developing Drupal modules, you may one day come across a scenario where you want your users to upload a photo or a document. I'm going to assume that you know how to build a Drupal module and we'll cut straight to the specific code you'll need to alter your form so that your users can upload files. The form entry for uploading a file is fairly similar to how you might prompt the user to enter in other details, such as their name. There are a few specific things that we will need to specify though. The main one is the upload location. As you can see in this case, we've set it to the public colon slash slash tutor photo folder. This means that any images that get uploaded by our user will be stored in this location. The public location translates into the sites slash default slash files folder on your Drupal installation. Here you can see some of the images that I have uploaded previously. Once you've uploaded your file, you're probably going to want to capture the URI so that you can store this and the images can be used elsewhere on your website. Uh, the submit form field is fairly simple. We'll use a temporary image variable to get the value from the form and then we'll create a file entity. With the file entity, we will set the file as permanent so that it doesn't get deleted after a few days. And then we'll go ahead and save our file. Note that we're also fetching the URI so that we can use this to upload to the database. If you'd like to know more about what you can do with the file type, there's some very good Drupal documentation that you can find in the description. One challenge I'm still trying to overcome is when one of your users uploads a file that has a custom file name that you wish to rename to some kind of standard. If you have any thoughts on how to best accomplish that, please comment below. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe.